if you're an electric vehicle technician and you don't have the electric vehicle diagnostic tester, I'm afraid you're out of the game. Let me show you how your life is going to be way easier using this amazing new tool. If you're having a problem with your own board charger in a plug-in hybrid car or an electric car, you definitely need to diagnose, first of all, control pilot and proximity sensor. These are signals that the vehicles and the grid chargers are supposed to match each other in order to communicate so that the vehicle will know if it's going to charge or not. When one of the components give you trouble, how the world are you going to diagnose if these connections are all sealed? Now, especially the plug-in system in an electric car, yeah, you will have to open the charger in order to access the cables. Well, that is over with the detective kit. This is exactly what this amazing creation from Professor John Foro has made. First thing I need is an electric vehicle charger. This is a level one and level two grid charger for electric vehicle. I can plug it in directly into the 220 or also I have the 110 adapter so I can turn my level two into a level one. If you guys have been following my channel, you know that I hate the fast charging. The lower the current, the better life expectancy of your high voltage battery, whether it's a plug-in hybrid or electric vehicle. Ready to plug in? There it is. So EV charging box, power, charge or fault. I have the charger tester, which is this box that has this modular EV power that is nothing more, nothing less than an electric vehicle simulator. So if I plug this in, this is going to simulate that I'm connecting to an electric car. Here we go. There it is. You can also hear the contactor closing in the charger. Proximity sensor, green light, it's telling me that there is full communication. If my voltages are fine and my ground is fine, well, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my digital multimeter. I'm gonna set it up to alternating current. Let me put it my leads in ground and L1, 112 volts in L1. Now hear this, what happens if, if I put it in L2? I get in zero volt because remember, I'm using a level one charger. But this is great because it's telling me that I'm using this also as a breakout box, knowing that the voltage is fine and knowing that the charger is working properly. But there's something even better. The detective kit that allows me to test with this amazing breakout box, line one, line two, ground, and of course, the control pilot. The control pilot sends a pulse with modulations, waveform signal in a variable voltage depending on the vehicle's requirements that I can easily read with my voltmeter and also scope. Let me show you. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my charger directly into the detective secondary box. I just heard the contactor closing. Now I am ready to test absolutely all the signals. The control pilot is a low voltage signal. So I'm going to put it on the ground and I'm gonna set it up to the control pilot right away. The vehicle simulated that the charging is actually charging the car and it's showing me seven volts. Let's hook it up to the scope and let's visualize the waveform. Here we go. And then of course, look, the scope is showing me a waveform, but of course this waveform is kind of crazy. Let me arrange time. There it is. As you can see, I have a stable waveform that the scope is showing me that the control pilot is working properly. Now, it is very important to know that the waveform, that say that the waveform begins to vary, that there probably it stops and probably gets a little longer, probably gets a little shorter. You now know that you should have a square waveform and stable depending once again on the vehicle's requirement. Professor John Foro created a must have tool for all the electric vehicles technician. I will leave his website in the comments. You got to have this. This is going to help you solve a lot of problems and then of course save time and money. So if you want to learn more, stick around for more tips. Bye-bye.